Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 is my favorite tabletop RPG to play. And I've been playing 3.5 for about four years. Now, in that time, I have noticed something very uh, a little disturbing, I guess. Not disturbing, uh, disheartening, I guess. Not. Um, about people trying to be tanks, which, um, if you don't know what a standard tank is, which, okay, I didn't, I didn't actually know what the tank meant until, like, uh, a year ago. Um, so, I'm going to defend her, so. Um, a tank is somebody who is intended to absorb damage in a mess, in a MMO, or a, just any RPG, really. Now, tanking in the Indy, um, People try to do it by bulking up their armor, boosting their armor class into the sky, making themselves impossible to hit. Don't do that. If you want a tank, don't do that. You Well, you can do that, but you have to have something. Don't, don't start off by doing that. You need reasons for people to choose you as a target over other people. Because, because, because. Let's say you're facing an, a band of orcs. You have a fighter, you have a rogue, you have a cleric, and you have a wizard. Four main things you really need. And there's five orcs. You roll for initiative, and by some strike of miracle, the fighter manages to go first. The fighter runs up. He can't reach any of the orcs. So he just stands there, and he's angry. I'm angry. Orcs are dumb, but they're not that dumb. In fact, some orcs can be fairly intelligent. Now, the point is, you might get one or two guys to hit you. Chances are... Chances are the rogue has placed himself or herself or themselves uh, in some position that is more ideal for them than the enemy. The rogue may not be the best target for the ones to find, even if they can't find them or whatever. That leaves the cleric and the wizard. Orcs like to kill things. Clerics wear armor. Fighters wear armor. Wizards don't. Me, me has sword, you has armor, you has armor and shiny holy symbol. Men wear robes and Gandalf hat. I'm hungry. I go kill him I go kill Gandalf. Yeah, the fighter wasn't the fighter wasn't really fighting anything in there. But that that's one of the mistakes that people try that people make while trying to tank. Um, there are two big ways to tank in D&D 3.5. They are lockdown and defending. These are two entirely different mechanics. You can actually master them both, but it will take a lot of work to like be like a high team tank in level 20 by now. But what is lockdown? Lockdown is throwing yourself into the fray and making yourself no, that's not me. Um, throwing yourself in the fray and making it so that your enemies cannot get past you, or that very few of them can get past you. Because if the people can't get to the wizard or the rogue, I, the cleric can probably take a hit or two, but the rogue and the wizard can't. You run up. You lock down the area, people are not getting past you. What are the ways to do this? You can trip people. This is the biggest way people do it. I see people with spike chains, the, arguably the best weapon in 3.5, and they just twirl it around and trip everyone within their reach. Spike chains have 10 feet of reach. You can strike people adjacent to you with um, two handed finessable weapons that you can trip and disarm with. They're fantastic weapons. They're exotic weapons, but still, they're fantastic. Um, this is a great way to lock down a battlefield because if the orcs can't get past you, then at least not without getting hit, 
Because, let's just say, instead of the fighter running up with his axe and shield, he runs up with a spike chain. And he's sort of like, Arr. The or Two orcs engage him in combat. One of the orcs runs past him, going for the wizard. The fighter gets an attack of opportunity because the orc ran through his threatened reach. Half the orcs I've seen don't know the difference. Like, they think this dude's got some weird spike chain. They don't know what gets hit. More than likely, that orc gets pissed off at you. Or at least, he's got less hit points going for the wizard. More than likely, he'll target you if the DM's playing going great. Um, as our new orc. If they're, you know, they're just playing going great. Um, then, you've got three people engaged. You have just engaged three-fifths of the entire fight by yourself. 60%. Lockdown is very dangerous for you, but it's also very effective. Locking down means, obviously, well, I said it, and I'll say it again, people can't move past you. That's a very, very good way to do things, but it also means that you need to kill things, and you need to kill them fast. Otherwise, the thing that is going to be killed is going to be you, and then the cleric will get mad because he has to spend 5,000 gold raising you. Or, if you're not level 9 yet, then you need to roll a new character over to spend like 7,000 gold or whatever it is. Yeah. So be careful if you're locking down, because it can be very effective. In fact, it's, it's not just very effective. It's extraordinarily effective, but it's also very dangerous for you. That's sort of the trade-off. You need to access the special maneuvers like bull rushing and stuff like that. The next thing is defending. The defending means that you stand by the wizard or the, whoever, and you make your you make it more difficult for them to attack them rather than you. Um, knights from Player's Handbook Two do this very well, where they challenge people to fight them. And it's literally a will save or tactic. Um, it's <laughs> it's funny, but it it works. Um, it works on most people. If they're dumb, they can ignore it. So just be careful of that if you're playing a knight. Um, the shieldmate feats from Minter's Handbook are great. It, that's a great defending feat to do, especially if you're a fighter and you take a tower shield, which is standing next to the wizard and he's. The, the orc runs up, tries to hit the wizard, and you're just like, plus three RSA, wizard. And the orc's just like, the orc's then mad at, mad that you can't hit the wizard, so he's just gonna start killing you. Uh, at least, at least you'll put up a, like, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, who make good defenders? Barbarians. Barbarians make good defenders. Uh, well, barbarians make good tanks, period, because they have a lot of hit points, and they're easy to hit. So, yeah, and they do damage. Barbarians kill things. Barbarians kill things. Barbarians kill things. Um, the Marshal makes a great defender. The Marshal's from Miniatures Handbook. It's one of my favorite classes in the game. Um, it's sort of like a battlefield commander yelling at people to do better. Anybody who knows, who can tell what you're doing, um, there's not a specific skill check associated with learning about a marshal, but I always rule that it's a knowledge history. So anybody who rolls like a 10 on knowledge history is, a marshal is a battlefield commander who makes people, who makes their allies better. They themselves are not the best at fighting, but they can hold their own. What that means is they have cleric based attack bonus and d8 hit points. Um, if you're going to be playing a martial defender, you need more constitution. That's obvious. But still, marshals make great defenders. So do crusaders at a tome battle. Um, Warblades make better lockdowns, honestly. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is sort of just a tangent on explaining why bumping your AC into up to Pluto is not going to help you tank. 
because having an AC as high as the stars will just make people not want to hit you. And when it's a choice between hitting a guy who's wearing mounted plate and carrying a tower shield and Gandalf, they're more than likely going to go for Gandalf unless they're a Rust monster. And if you're encountering a Rust monster and you're wearing any sort of metal armor, you want to not be there. You want to let the wizard do that. Or just let the druid handle it. Because the druid is armor is made of wood. Well, um, this is that's pretty much all I had to say about it. Don't boost your AC into the atmosphere um, unless you have some ability, even a feat, the goad feat, and a miniatures handbook. Or I think that feat's like in four different books. If you're gonna if you're gonna be a defender. And you literally have no other tanking mechanic. Just take Goad. If you have a Charisma of 13, just, just take it. If you have a Dexterity of 13, instead take Helmet Reflexes. Just take something that makes you preferable to hit over somebody. Please learn to tank. Just learn to tank. That's all I ask of you people. Just learn to tank. Okay, well, um, that's all I have to say about that. Fairly well.